Hi everyone, my name is Richard Reed. I am the COO and founder of Oku Labs. A big thank you to Sydney and the rest of the group, as well as Draper University and My Hero City for hosting us today. I'm talking to you today about Oku Labs. We have a solution that provides transparency, verified information, and high quality data to the constituency around the world of skincare professionals and consumers. Right now, when I look around the room, I see a lot of, of course, great looking people, but a lot of you are probably wondering, how do you, thank you, how do you find products that are healthy, high quality, and actually solve whatever your skincare issues are? That's exactly the challenge that Oku Labs was created to start, to find a way that people can have confidence in the products and the services that they consume. Oku Labs started out of a, originally a consumer products company that developed healthy skincare solutions for the global community, but specifically in Southeast Asia, where there was a limited supply of high quality products serving the middle class community. We are here today to talk about our ICO, which is in our private sales state. We want to make clear that we comply with all US uh, securities guidelines, and this is not a solicitation. Please bear that in mind. So what do we do? Opu Labs has a cell phone enabled technology that we provide to both skincare professionals, such as dermatologists, as well as individuals, so consumers, who are looking to find healthy, positive, and cost-effective ways to address their skincare problems. And everyone has them, whether you're 20, whether you're 60, there is something that you need to improve your skin condition. So, the way we do this is we use smartphone technology, selfies essentially on your camera to take images of your skin and then run it through a advanced image processing technology that is an intelligent, artificial intelligence based system that is able to identify what your skin conditions are that need to be addressed and provide you with relevant information. Now, the key problem with skin care for most of us is finding good information that we can trust. That is where the blockchain comes in and why we're here. One of the biggest problems is that people do not know information that is good, bad, or other. There's very few dermatologists in the Western world, but in developing markets, there's an extreme shortage. And so our technology not only provides a way for these people to access high quality analysis of their skin, but they can also get verified information on the quality of the dermatologists or skincare professionals that they might consult, and more importantly, the products that they may, might buy or the services they might consume. So the blockchain function within our technology is to provide an incentivized ecosystem where people can not only learn information that's verified from people who have left reviews and doctors who have provided endorsements to products or services, they can have confidence that this information is accurate. So how big is this market? Well, it's a hundred billion dollar plus for skincare. That's globally. And as you can see in the slide here, that the beauty device market alone is $20 billion plus. There are over 300 million searches done each month on Google for people just looking for skincare products. And on Facebook, 500 million plus people identify themselves as interested in beauty or skincare products. The biggest problem that most people have when it comes to skincare products or services is what to select or what to choose. We found from our consumer products business that 
essentially internet advertising has let down the user. There's too much of it. There's too much conflicting information. People really don't know what information is accurate and reliable. That's why you see now with the explosion of brands out there, Amazon has something like 60,000 skincare products available. And most people, when it comes to making a choice, do maybe 10 days of research. We found this with our own product lines that people would come to our site, they would look, they would review it, they'd come back, look, come back, look in other places, and eventually make a purchase. But it was often a 10-day uh, process. And one of the reasons is that people don't know who to ask for good quality advice. A lot of people will ask a family member or a friend, or they might even go to a shop and ask a shop assistant who will do the best they can, but they only have so much experience. What we found is about 88% of these people are relying on others who are well-intentioned, but frankly not professionally skilled to provide good recommendations. And in fact, only about 12% of the recommendations actually come from a qualified skincare professional. This is a major issue because with skincare products, this is the largest uh, really organ on your body, your skin, and not having good quality information is very difficult for you to make informed decisions. So a little bit of a graphic of what our service looks like uh, as you actually consume it through a mobile app. We want to bring mass personalization to the process of determining what conditions are problems in your skin and the best solutions, whether it's a service, a treatment, or a product that you need to consume in order to solve that problem. This works through a combination of blockchain technology, AI, big data, and most importantly, advanced image processing. Uh, the, our core technology for the image processing was developed by a team out of the IBM Watson program with extensive experience in artificial intelligence and uh, image processing. And the result is you, of what we can provide to the people we'll see in just a moment. But not only does it analyze your skin and provide a detailed explanation of your challenges, based on the amount of users who consume this service, it will learn and become more intelligent about the products and services people have tried, they've reviewed, and the ones that are working well and the ones that are not working so well. So this is also a product that is available to not only the individual, but to the skincare professional community, whether you're a dermatologist, uh, have a spa, a clinic, etc. You can provide this service to your clients, or if you're the, in an individual, you have this service. This is particularly important in our target markets, which initially are India, Southeast Asia, and emerging markets. And we're going to do those before we, we come to the US. So with our technology right now, you can go to opu.ai and you can see a version of the image processing technology right now available. Over the course of the next year, we're going to be rolling out more functionality, including mobile apps, web apps, and moving on to the uh, blockchain, the data function in our service, which I'll talk about in a moment. I'll keep in touch. Did you give me your Take another one. So I've got a little video here that hopefully should work. I just have a problem. To try and bear with me one moment, please. Okay, I think it was the other one. We'll just go back instead to
<laughs> Always something. Okay, thank you. I don't think it goes after here. All right, go we'll skip the video. Okay, <laughs> Sorry about that. What you're seeing on the slide here is the actual slide screens from the app. And what happens when, in this case, a young lady has uploaded a selfie of her face, we're able to return what are, look like uh, a radar map with a very simple, easy to digest report, which tells you if you have acne, redness, or about one of eight skin conditions. More of these conditions will be added. You'll be provided with recommendations for products or services that you can use to improve your skin condition, whether it is we recommend that based on the analysis of your skin, you should see a qualified skin care professional to get a diagnosis for potentially a medical issue, or if you would like to buy a product, which is most people. They're looking for what type of serum, lotion, et cetera, would be appropriate for them. They can choose according to their key criteria, whether it's budget, uh, whether the products are organic, whatever their concern might be. And then they can purchase that product through the local e-commerce gateway in their country, whether it's Amazon or other. So on our roadmap, where we see this product going is it will not only provide the individual and the skincare professional with a tool to help them diagnose and treat problems, it will solve a couple of key functions. And this is really where the, the blockchain initiative in our project is centered. The data that users own when they consume the services in our app through the image processing is theirs. It will, rely, it will reside on the blockchain and people will be able to set their privacy levels as they wish and they will be able to participate in research projects with industry players, research organizations, etc., who are looking to get high quality verifiable data from a large pool of users without the traditional problems associated with collecting this information. The way they will incentivize people to utilize or take advantage of these research product projects or try new products is through the Opu coin, our token offering. And this will provide them with a incentive for getting users to try new products, try new services, and to conduct research. It will also be available to the skincare professional community. This will be a way to encourage users to transact in Opu coin for their skincare purchases and treatments. They'll be able to get discounts and incentives as well. So our technology will need to reside on the blockchain so people can say, okay, at this moment, I am open to doing a research project with you. I'm going to allow my data to be consumed by you in return for whatever incentive that you provide. So this is where the decentralized aspect of our technology really comes to the fore. The, that data that the, each user owns will be incredibly valuable to the global skincare community because right now, even if you're a major player like a L'Oreal, you have this challenge where your information that you've gathered on users is siloed according to geography and developing a global roadmap of what issues people are facing and how you will solve those really isn't possible today. And that is where we see this, the global opportunity with our technology, allowing the skincare companies, researchers, 
professionals and individuals to benefit from the collection of a large amount of data that is verified, trusted, and available for uh, research and developing new products and services. So to highlight a few of the things that we're going to do is these, the access to this data, as I mentioned, will be controlled by each user, being um, regulated through smart contracts. We will increase the number of skin conditions that we can analyze, whether it's redness, acne, hyperpigmentation, etc. There are many other conditions that we can add to our service, but it requires advanced image processing, training, and technology. Right now, when we analyze your skin and your face, it's based on a certain number of uh, test cases. The more data we get, the more we can expand this, the more advanced our skin processing, skin analysis processing can become. So the other area is that also we want to make our service available to third parties who are interested in developing services that target either the skincare professional or consumer communities. And this will be available through APIs and they will also participate in the incentive system that we've created. So to talk about this token ecosystem, there's really three major areas, which are the skincare professionals, here listed as the doctors and advisors, the consumers, the people who are actually looking for that solution to solve whatever their skincare problem is, and the third party developers who are looking to either access our user base from a certain portion of the world or a certain product uh, focus or a certain type of skin condition. And we believe that having a token system or ecosystem where all of these parties are incentivized to participate and give the consumers the ability to find them, find their services, enjoy the benefits of whatever service they provide, or take advantage of the opportunities they give through, say, research projects, or to try new product lines, uh, new services that might be available through skincare professionals, or third-party apps that will allow them to expand the range of services provided. The budget for our, for our token raise is primarily split between market development and research and development. Many of the projects that I've seen, the market development and R&D are flipped around in terms of their weighting. It's important for us to note that our image processing technology is already live. It's quite advanced already. So the bulk of our investment is not actually in the image processing technology, but rather market rollout in major geographies such as India, which is one of our first markets. Our team consists of about 25 individuals. We've been working on this project for a little over 18 months. They range from uh, professional dermatologists such as Deval Banusali, who's one of the leading US media pundits on skincare. We have a board of advisors that we're listing in our white paper that consists of about a dozen US-based dermatologists and which we're also expanding to other countries, a lot of these individuals see the benefit as of the tool to help them extend their ability to do uh, general screenings of people. So we've got a lot of excitement from the skincare community. We have experienced uh, developers as well as um, business leaders who in artificial intelligence and image processing technology as well as a range of individuals on our blockchain group, advisory group, for example, Jay Manciocci is the lead marketing lead for North America at Accenture for blockchain, uh, as well as a number of other um, blockchain advisors. So a few quick notes about our ICO. We have a, right now, the private sale is on with about uh, a $3 million hard cap, and we have sold about 
um, 8 million tokens so far. We'll be going into our pre-sale period in April and targeting a mid-May um, public sale. Right now, our private sale, we're offering a 50% discount. Um, and as I mentioned, we have uh, 8 million tokens sold, of course, for any US um, purchasers. We would require them to comply with all uh, US securities regulations. So please note that. And that's it. Please, yeah, any we, questions? We, we just have uh, for one question. We're running out of time. But, but great presentation. Thank and you. I like, uh, I have to personally, not, not to complain, but I like what you guys do with the uh, skin cares and all of that. I think nobody has been done that. So, Thank you. It's a major market that's very underserved. So do you have any... Uh, the testing, you, have you guys done any beta on anything like that? Any, any implemented anywhere? Do you? So you, any? you can actually see our image processing technology on, um, excuse me, on opu.ai, okay. and you can, for more information on our ICO, you can see it at ico.opu.ai. And yes, this is based on image processing technology that has been used in the hardware industry, medical device hardware industry, yeah and is now being available to the end user and to dermatologists for the first time. So do, do, who's, if you say you monitor any of your investors buying token, are they doctors in skincare? Or are they individual? None of them so far are doctors, but as I mentioned, we have an advisory board in the US of uh, now I think it's 13 or 14 US dermatologists with uh, a fellow who I mentioned is sort of like the Dr. Phil of skincare. He's okay. all over the news. Uh, but also overseas, we have uh, a board of advisors as well, all dermatologists. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.